elevator. We are taking an elevator. Are you happy about oh, it? Yes. 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 But I have two Most bad news us, for you. Yeah. Two bad news for you. Bad news number one for green stickers. Who has green stickers? It's three of you, yeah? You booked the tour to the very top. Yes. But now Eiffel Tower closed the top. Oh. It means that I can give you tickets only to the second floor, but you will be refunded part of your money. All right? It's not me who closed the top, it's Eiffel Tower. <laughs> Technical issues with the summit elevator. So, red stickers, you book the tour to the second floor. From the second floor of the tower, I want to show you monuments and buildings, what we can see. I want to share with you a little story about the Eiffel Tower. And then, after my story, you are free. You can spend time on the tower as long as you want. You don't need to go down with me. But first, we have to go through this security area. At this security area, we need to open our bags. I hope you don't have any knives or weapons or glass bottles or forks. No? No guns? No? <laughs> no. Great. After the security, I'll check in so I'm time to be sure that everybody will. And then we will go to the line to the ticket office. So guys, are you ready to go? Yes! Yes! yes. Yeah. They're the names of mathematicians, scientists and engineers who mostly influenced Gustav Eiffel and he wanted to thank them by this way. He made this tribute for them. And there are 72 names of this list on the first floor of the tower. Now there are a lot of works for and awaiting before Olympic Games 2024 here in Paris. So today Eiffel Tower is tired a little bit, but soon 2024 she will be beautiful again. That's why a lot of nets. It's temporary, it's not always like this. So now guys, I'm inviting you to the huge line to the ticket office. Holy please, all together. There are a lot of people who did suicide from the Eiffel Tower and just one person who survived, it's a French woman, she's still alive. For her it was really a miracle, she fell on the roof of the car, that's why she survived. Now it's impossible, there are a lot of metal nets protection. You see there is a black entrance near Jules Verne. This is the entrance of the restaurant Jules Verne. It's a good restaurant with Michelin stars. They don't need the tickets, they don't need the lights, they have their own elevator. But you need to book place in this restaurant two months in advance. Fancy restaurant. This restaurant is above the second floor of the tower. The second restaurant here is Madame Brasserie. Madame Brasserie is on the first floor of the tower. On the first floor of the tower there is also winter terrace where you can drink, chill and spend all day. There's a cafeteria and the gift shop. Also, what else you can find on the first floor? This corner, it's a pillar zoo. You can find part of original stairs of the Eiffel Tower. By that stairs, Gustav Eiffel climbed every day to his office on the summit. 1,665 stairs, every day from the ground to the top. Imagine he was a good athlete. Where, yeah. where, is it? Because, where, where are those stairs? Uh, this corner, and this pillar, pillar zoo. Yeah. Because there were no elevators at that time. They put elevators 10 years after building. And Gustav Eiffel, he had his secret apartments on the top of the tower. And today Gustav Eiffel and his friend Thomas Edison and his daughter, today they are sitting inside his apartments on the top. So you can view it through, through the window. Unfortunately, not today. Yeah. On the top of the tower there is also a champagne bar. You can drink champagne there. But don't worry, on the second floor you can drink champagne as well. And if on the top of the tower one glass of champagne, it's uh, uh, 15 years, it's good champagne, much and done. So on the second floor it's 13 years. Yeah. Oh, guys, keep moving a little bit. Thank you. I have a little story about the Eiffel Tower. Maybe I can start my story here on the ground. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. need to wait here. Surprised. I was surprised as well about the stairs that we have to do elevator today because I prefer to climb stairs, no? That way in the long climb. Yeah, I prefer to climb. So, guys, here 
I want to introduce you a man who stays behind it all and maybe you know his name. How do you think? Who is this man? Who is this guy? Louder. Yes, yes. It's Gustav Eiffel, his godfather of this tower. He was born here in France in Dijon in 1832 and died in 1923 in Paris in his bed, surrounded of his family and listening for Beethoven's Fifth Symphony as a soundtrack to his last breath. He studied engineering in Paris and uh, earned a degree of engineering in 1855 from Arts and Manufacturing College, which is still exists. He began to work as an engineer, and something happened that made him a little famous. One day, during the construction of the Bordeaux Bridge, one of his workers fell down into the Garonne River and would have died if Gustave Eiffel didn't jump and save his life. So we can notice that he was not only a good engineer, he was also a good person and a perfect swimmer. And because of that accident, people began to remember his name. And fortunately, fortunately, nobody died during the construction of this tower. No death during the building. It was a huge success that time because there were 300 workers, 300 builders on the tower and no death. But after building, one of the workers, his name was Alberto, he made a proposal to his girlfriend on the tower. She answered yes. And he was so, ha so happy. He drank a lot of alcohol and fell. Unfortunately. So during all the building, no death and just one who died after. But about our later, because I want to ask you a question. Do you know the Statue of Liberty in USA? Yes. yes. You know? Maybe you know that it was a gift from France to the United States. So when France decided to present that gift, they turned to Auguste Bartholdi to design outside. He in turn hired Gustave Faithful to design inside, their mature skeleton. But his design was mocked because it looked like a pile of toothpicks. But Gustave Faithful he declared his golden words. He said, guys, she will hold, she will survive, believe me, trust me, and she did and still stands and welcomes new visitors to New York Harbor. And by the way, here in Paris, there's also a Statue of Liberty. And I'm going to show you Parisian Statue of Liberty from the second floor of the tower. Uh, Gustave Eiffel also helped to build the Bon Marché. It was the first department store in the world. His company built a lot of bridges all over the world, and bridges in Portugal, Maria Pia. But of course, the most famous of his achievements is this tower. So when the centennial of French Revolution was approaching, French government decided to celebrate that event with the World Fair. And they wanted to mark the entrance to the exhibition with a 300 meter tower. And they made a competition between the architects. Because Gustave Eiffel, he wanted to win that competition. But he had no idea what to build and how to build. And he asked his engineers. And they showed him design, design of this tower. So first idea of the Eiffel Tower was an idea of two engineers of Gustav Eiffel's company, Maurice Koechlin and Emile Mugier. But the company was Gustav Eiffel's company. The half of money was Gustav Eiffel's money. He managed all the building carefully. So eventually together they won that competition, of course. <laughs> and they won that competition with this design. It was the first design of the Eiffel Tower. With, with this picture, they won. Looks like another tower, yeah? Looks different. How it looks like near the tower, Notre Dame de Paris, Statue of Liberty, or Arc de Triomphe. And here we can see names of the engineers, Kerslin and Lubia. Later, later they invited the third architect. His name was Stephen Sylvester, and he added these arches, pretty touch, and the famous glass floor of the tower. You see, on the first floor there is a glass floor. You can say this glass is a very strong glass, but don't jump. Okay. Jumping <laughs> is not a good idea. So to save the tower, Every seven years, the team of 25 men with simple brushes and 60 tons of paint, they paint the tower. And they paint the tower during 18 months. And it's a tradition, just 25, no more. Today you can read this team because they painted it now, they want to finish it for Olympic Games. And if today you find part of the painting on your clothes after they visit the Eiffel Tower, you can go to informational desk there and they can give you money for your clothes. Because this painting is really, really strong. I have part of my another by hand. Yes, to, yes. They have to or is it tradition? It's tradition, okay. tradition, yes. So the tower and they paint the tower in this color. This color is official color. It's official Eiffel Tower brown. Because you know that after building, first 30 years she was red. She was red, then they changed colors and mixed colors between the different shadows of brown, yellow, green and eventually to this color. Last change of the color was in 1968. And now I know that they want to pay part of the tower in gold for the Summer Olympic Games. <laughs> Good event. Also, now it's difficult to see, but when we go closer, you can see a lot of rivets. A lot of rivets. There are more than 2 million rivets holding together 18,000 pieces of puddle iron. 
For each of those three vets, the work of four men was required. One to hold it, one to hit it, one to shape it, and one more to bang it into the place. And with all those separate pieces, this is what largest tractor set, like a big Lego, you know that contractor Lego? Took only two years, two months, and five days to build since 1887 till 1889. Very fast building for the tower like this. And you know that after building, locals, Parisians, they hated this tower. They hated this tower so much, they called her ugly tower. And even the team of 300 musicians and artists, they petitioned for her destruction. And they would have to wait only 20 years. But again, thanks for Gustav Eiffel, and thanks for his love to the science, he put the radio antenna on the top of the tower, and said her, because that radio antenna was already on television. And uh, one year ago, on March 15th, he was event and celebrating, because this radio antenna was fitted by new 6 centimeters of digital antenna. So today, with new centimeters, official high of the Eiffel Tower is 330 meters long. Today, it's the tallest building in Paris. It has been tallest building all over the world for 41 years until the Chrysler building was built. And I want to ask you, have you seen the Eiffel Tower twinkle lights? Have you seen twinkle lights of the tower? Sparkling. Oh, no? Yes, yes. Yesterday yes. from our hotel I saw. Yeah, and you guys, you saw twinkle lights? Okay, if you want to see it one more time, she begins to twinkle every day after sunset. First, five full minutes of each hour till 11 p.m. Now till 11 p.m. and summertime till 1 a.m. And first time she began to twinkle on New Year's Eve 99, 2000, when friends celebrated millennium. And guys, do you know that it's illegal to take pictures of Eiffel Tower at night? Yeah. You know about it? You yeah. know? You know why? It's been copyrighted by the satellite. It's copyright of friends. Yes. But guys, don't worry. You can do it. You can do it for your memories. You can send it to your families, to your friends, but you can sell it. You can but put it in YouTube, for example. Use. Yeah. So Instagram, yes, TikTok, yes, YouTube, no, you can sell it. Just be careful with it. I don't know if someone checked, just know about it, yeah. And uh, uh, usually, normally, the color of Eiffel Tower is uh, yellow, yellow. But just one, one day in the year, it's uh, one day in August, Eiffel Tower is pink, pink. All the tower is pink, amazingly. It reminds for women about the breast cancer, yeah. And also, a uh, few weeks ago, on February 20, 24th, when it was the first year, um, one year after war in Ukraine started, the colors of Eiffel Tower were half blue, half yellow, like Ukrainian flag. Do you know Ukrainian flag? Yeah. Yes. I was crying because I'm from Ukraine. For me, it no. touched me to the to the bones when I saw the Eiffel Tower with Ukrainian flag. But normally, it's yellow, yellow color. Also, guys, how do you think? What is the weight of the tower? How many tons? How many kilograms? Do you know? Ten thousand. <laughs> yes, ten thousand. It's 7,300 tons, it's just iron, and with all the painting, 10,000 tons. So very, very huge, heavy lady. Forbidden things like knives, drones, dogs, guns and flags. You notice the flags, forbidden things on the Eiffel Tower? You know why it's uh, forbidden to take flags on the Eiffel Tower? No? Do you know? No. no? I can show you one picture. I can show you one picture. Flags and a little story about this picture. Uh, so, you see this picture? It's a doll hitter with Eiffel Tower. You see, guys? Uh, stay close. Picture, he's sad and upset because that day he wanted to go to the top of the Eiffel Tower, like part of us today, unfortunately. Oh. And that day, workers of the tower, they were so brave. They said, not you, not today. And they destroyed the elevators. He tried to climb. He tried to climb because he wanted to put his flag on the top of the Eiffel Tower. And he couldn't, a lot of steps. That's why he was upset on that picture. It's true. He took that picture from Trocadero Square. I'll show you Trocadero yeah. Square from the second floor. And since that time, it's forbidden to take any flag to the Eiffel Tower. Okay. Even if it's a French flag. Okay. Even, if it's, uh, yes, oh. even if it's a French flag. If it's a small French flag, no flags, forbidden things on the Eiffel Tower. So guys, next part of my story gonna be from the second floor. So I wanna try to show you what we can see. Flowers, I can show you. Okay, tell the Flowers ice cream name. Amorino. Amorino. Okay. I'll show you. <laughs> oh, wow. wow. With the uh, ice cream. And it's really a lot of... Uh, oh. My favorite is mango. Oh my god. We can't see the view, no? Fancy. It's, it's better view from there. <laughs> Ah, okay. Ah, so change, my legend. Oh, I'm going to have a
Hey guys, we're here. It is. Come to me, please, if you want. Kilometers long, and here we can see four of 37 bridges we spent the river sand. And you see this like little long island between the banks there. It was built specifically for the transportation. And if you can't reach from the tower, first bridge, bridge Birake, second bridge, and the third bridge with the lights. The middle of the third bridge, at the end of this island, you see the green statue, green or grey statue. There is a Statue of Liberty, Parisian Statue of Liberty, like this. And you can view this. You can view these two statues from the river, Statue of Liberty and uh, Eiffel Tower. Yeah, and uh, this Statue of Liberty, it was a gift from United States to France. It was a gift. It was a gift. And she's a smaller <laughs> copy of her older sister. She's the tenth part of real Statue of Liberty. And if you want to fly to United States now, if you can fly, it is right direction to America because this Statue of Liberty, she is waving across the ocean to that Statue of Liberty. They stand face to face to each other. So it's so nice here. It's also Statue of Liberty, not so tall, but uh, pretty, pretty as well. Also, I want to show you Shayo Palace. Shayo Palace, you see this big beige building, like a half a circle with two wings, mm -hmm. like this. Yeah. Like this, you see? Yeah. Like this. It was built for another world, world fair as a meeting place for international organizations. Now it houses museums, restaurants and aquarium underground. <laughs> and if you want to take pictures for social media with Eiffel Tower, you know, like this or like this, you know what I mean, yeah? You have to, have to go to the square between these wings. It's Trocadero Square or Plus du Trocadero for the spot for the pictures like this. And guys, also you know that Eiffel Tower is the tallest building in Paris, yeah? So maybe you want to ask me a question. Marsha, what about those skyscrapers? You see those skyscrapers? They're really tall. Yes. But those skyscrapers, it's Lady Fox. It's not a Paris. It's a suburb of Paris. Oh. Yeah. And in, pa in Paris, there's a limit to build tall buildings, so now they build all tall buildings on Lady Fox. And you can see board of Paris. You see there are dark, uh, dark places, like mm -hmm. a, there are trees, mm -hmm. there are below the forest, all behind the suburb. It's a verb. So Lady Fonds, it's a major business district here. They're the headquarters of banks and insurance companies, but the most famous building on Lady Fonds, it's a modern version of Arch de Triou, Great Arch of Defense. She looks like strange white square, but she's attractive and tall. So it is modern version of Arch de Triou. And uh, we can try, we can try to find this part between the skyscrapers on Lady Fonds. Yeah. You see, if you go straight, it's empty place, and we turn to the left side a little bit, you can view this part, part. And from this part begins the famous Axe Historic or Perspective Royale of Paris. It is a one line from Arche de la to Arche de Triomphe to Place du Concorde and to the Louvre. So guys, oh, could you okay. please a little bit move to this side? And there okay. you can see Arche de Triomphe. Okay, see? okay. There. With the lights. Okay, fine. And if you want to find Dior, Cartier, Saint Laurent and other things, you have to go to Arche de Triomphe. From Arts de Triumph begins the famous shopping area Champs Elysees. You know Champs Elysees? Yeah. You know the song of yeah. Song of Jodhpur? Oh Champs Elysees. You know? You know this song? No, it's a no. famous song about that place. And Arts de Triumph she stays on the square and name of the square Etoile. Etoile in French language it means the star because there are twelve avenues. Twelve avenues from this arch and it looks really like a star or like a sun. The golden dome, golden dome with the yellow lights. You see the golden dome there? Yes. Yes, it's a church and the complex Les Invalides. Invalides. Daylight, it looks like this. Daylight, it looks like this. Les Invalides. It was built by the King Louis XIV as a residence and hospital for retired soldiers and invalids. That's why, invalids. But the reason for the dedication to the soldiers was not entirely philanthropic at that time. Because at that time, in the 17th century, this King Louis XIV, he was busy with building his palace in Versailles. And the majority of the workforce <laughs> work were those out of commissioned soldiers and they didn't okay. want to work. It's also the oldest bridge in Paris. And the name of the oldest bridge in Paris is Pont Neuf. It means the new bridge. So it's easy to remember the oldest bridge in Paris, it's a new bridge. And near Notre Dame you can find the famous Saint Chapelle with the stained glass windows inside. And that church it connects with Conciergerie. Conciergerie it was a prison for those awaiting guillotine. And inside you can view the cell of Marie Antoinette, famous inmate of the prison. 
first, second, third and fourth bridge from the tower. There are four stages to the golf. It's a bridge of Alexander III, bridge of Alexander III, or we call this bridge Adele Bridge. Because you know this song of Adele, someone like you, you know this song? She moved that um, video while walking down that bridge. And if you go behind that bridge, you see there is a square with a lot of lights. That square with a lot of lights, another bank of the river. That square is a Place du Concorde. It was a location where the guillotine executions were held for thousands of people, including the King Louis XVI and Marie Antoinette. And that needle in the middle of the square, it's a gift from Egypt, Luxor Obelisk, ancient obelisk. And you see the long, long beige building behind that square. And if you go to the right side to that building, there's a Louvre. There's a Louvre, the famous museum, huge museum. It was the first place for kings and queens, now it's a museum. And you know that Louvre contains more than 380,000 objects. And if you want to see all of those objects, you would spend there 75 days and 8 hours to see all one object during only one minute. It's a really, really huge museum. And you know that Lourdes visited 9 million people each year. But today Lourdes began to get more, 11 million people. How do you think why? How do you think what was the reason for more visitors? Mona Lisa? It's first what we can... <laughs> First of all, you can think it's Mona Lisa, maybe COVID, maybe movies. No, guys, I can help you. Do you know the singer Beyonce? You know Beyonce? Yes. No? Yes. So Beyonce with Jay-Z, they filmed the music video inside the Louvre. That's why today people want to go to the Louvre. They don't want to see Mona Lisa, other painters, historical things, pyramids. They want to see why Beyonce danced with her husband. It's so sad. It's so sad, but it's reality of our lives. That's why plus two million to the Louvre today. <laughs> also, guys, place what I recommend you to visit here in Paris, and it's my favorite place too. You see, there's a hill with a big church on the top. Yes. 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 Big church. Yes. Yeah. Uh, it's, a, it's a hill. It's a difficult to see now. There is a hill. And that hill, it's a hill Montmartre and Church Basilica Sacre Coeur. That hill Montmartre is the highest natural spot, spot to view Paris. There are a lot of musicians, painters, cafes, and cabarets. Do you know famous cabaret Moulin Rouge? Do you know Moulin Rouge? Rouge? Yeah, 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 right direction to Montmartre. Good place, but not for kids. I mean, uh, Moulin Rouge, yeah. <laughs> On the Montmartre, there is also the Wall of Love. It's the wall where the words I love you written in 250 languages. So it's so romantic to stay with your couple and try to find this word in your language. There are famous pink house and statue of a man who is walking through the wall and Montmartre it means mountain of martyrs and it refers to Saint Denis, to the first bishop of France. In the 3rd century he was beheaded when he defended his Christianity. And there is a legend that he picked his head and carried for six miles and preached step by step and died on, this, on that hill. That's why it's mountain of martyrs. I'm the Eiffel Tower. Enjoy your time in Paris. Yes. And, uh, see you soon somewhere here. Okay. Complete Paris order. Now, on the top of the Eiffel Tower, I'm going to talk about the Eiffel Tower vlog. I'm going to talk about the Eiffel Tower vlog. I'm going to talk about the Eiffel Tower vlog. நோட்டிபிகேஷன் <laughs> Stay with us uh, in Europe Travel Diaries with Food Fun Expo. Bye! Oh, hey girl! Yeah! yeah. Come on. I mean, y'all have had like. It's me, huh? Oh! Yeah! Oh! Yeah. 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 Oh!
What what where are you there? Oh, we live in the area. Yeah. We go to sleep away school.